Welcome back to HWA Wrestling. Dimitri waiting in the ring to go up against making his wrestling debut, Poncho's cousin Pedro. This should be interesting. Punch Drunk Polly here, still alongside Kitseko Fieldhouse. And here comes who's unsuccessful in his attempts to help Poncho during the pre show match. And here comes. Oh Lord, look at this. And I thought Poncho was weird. Uh, this is definitely just strange. I don't, I don't see the uh, original Backyard Luchador up here, though. Is Poncho, is Poncho still upset about losing to that rookie? I, he might be. I'm not sure. Uh, he did not seem happy about the roll-up. I'm a little lost right now. I'm seeing this. I think I'm still drunk. Well, I won't <laughs> no, to... you're not drunk. He really is wearing that. <laughs> no, regardless, I still have, I did have six Bloody Marys for breakfast, but that's a different story. I do, I do have to say this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Hey, Kimberly, we have no ref. We cannot fight. OD40 coming out here. Let's go. It, Dimitri can try all, as hard as he can not to laugh, but I ain't holding back. Right. <laughs> I don't want to take a match serious like this. Can you hold the camera, please? Thank you. Let's go, Breaking King Fate here, folks. Right. Like I said, Conseco Fieldhouse here alongside Punch Drunk Polly here at HWA Wrestling. I guess you can call this a road to golden opportunity. In two weeks' time. There we go. Dimitri coming off uh, an unfortunate loss at Ground Zero. Madman WK, the victor. Pedro made his debut at helping Poncho win his first match and also winning the undefined title. And textbook wrestling techniques right there. Arm wrenching the knees to a uh, knee I, drop. I want to say the fun fact. You may have noticed Pedro was wearing a medal when he came out. Uh, in Mexico, where he was going to school, he won a bronze medal in the science fair for making a bomb. Oh, that is awesome. You know, that's good to hear. Paul Nelson. Oh! Pedro can wrestle. Or lucha. Can... I'm not usually at ringside for the for the uh, poncho matches, so it's a libre. Still different yeah. to me. That's definitely a whole different world. Here Pedro, we go. Pedro going up top. Big elbow. elbow. Right into the face of Dimitri. The pink elbow. One, two. Dimitri has not shown any ring rust since returning. Well, he's definitely a master at his craft. I mean, he's shown textbook maneuvers. And according to what he says, he's not immediate. He's not immediately going for any particular belt. Well, sometimes you just want to make a name for yourself. Oh. That way, that when that we come for that champion, he's in fear. He made a name for himself in the CCW, but this is a whole different fed and a whole different environment. Yeah. HWA is nothing like CCW, with the exception of the talent. Come on, Major. The rules are all different. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely I'm a whole different world. Get, I'm still trying to get used to this attire by Pedro. <laughs> white, white tank top, pink mask, blue and red pants. It's <laughs> definitely colorful, I guess Pedro, we could say. I don't know if that's, yeah, we'll just stick with colorful. But she's uh, backstage right uh, now and trying to come up with names for him. <laughs> there he is. Pastel. Right, pastel. We'll One. see what he comes up with later. Pedro I'm... is surprisingly doing very well against the former CCW yeah. champion. Yeah, I mean, this is a good start for a you know, rookie like Pedro, you know, definitely. It's a good way to make a name for himself. I know Pon I, Poncho's told me about his family because he doesn't shut up about stuff like that. One, two. Poncho's. Dos. Always talking about his wrestling family in Mexico. He wanted to come out here and make a name for himself. He was struggling, and uh, I guess I guess the family's making his way, making their way up here. Cause Pedro's here. I don't know how many relatives he has in the wrestling business. But usually, the Me usually Lucha Libre. It's all family. The Cabreros, Mysterios. And you could fit about 15 of them in a pickup truck. I'm not talking about the bed. <laughs> Major now going for a roll again. Quick cover. Just a two. Or, well, dose for our Mexican viewers. Yes. And now another arm wrench. Oh, big kick to the back of the knee. Oh, oh interesting arm breaker. I don't think I've seen a version like that before. And now here we go. What you say, Pedro? Getting him in a oh, Pedro, what do you say? double arm submission. No, he says no. He just let go, though. Uh, he, yeah, looks like he kind of had the rope. I didn't really hear the ref call it, but you know, he's thinking, regrouping. I, I, I don't know if I'd call it regrouping. You can see there's something on Dimitri's mind. Well, he's wrestling a guy in a pink mask. That's uh, definitely got to throw off your game. Uh, 
I mean, like, uh, he's not the kind of person to just let a submission go just uh, for an, an unusual uh, ring attire. Uh, there is something. Oh, got a big move. Oh, oh, big knee to the face. Like I said, there's something, there's something on Dimitri's mind. Oh. Now going for the cover. Oh, just a two count. Well, Pedro taking the advantage. So hey, what we've seen right? so far, it's incredible. Um, Cash with the blockbuster announcement that due to a very small print on the back of the contract, a technicality resulting in Phoenix not only losing his belt, but his power of the company to Cash. Oh. And the fans oh. is not, it's a combination of shock and disgust. Oh. Because Phoenix and Two. Jimmy Jack have run a pretty good ship and have tried as best they can to, to make the fans happy. And now, Jimmy Jack and Cash, it's a double-edged sword. Oh, by the way, Jimmy Jack owes me three Bloody Marys that I lost after that little stun he pulled. Maybe you should just tell Cash. What stunt? Oh, uh, well, you know, with the contract. Oh, yeah. Ah! That wasn't that for the week. Oh! Drives the leg in his oh. midsection. Two, two and no. Oh, two. kick out. Like I said, maybe you should just ask Cash. Oh. We'll have to see. I, I've just been informed uh, right. through my headset. Brian Phoenix is in the arena. Uh, he's not going to be happy when somebody has to tell him about this. Not Pedro, what do you say? And we also heard about the main he's event announced for tonight. This is first. What, what is, he did it again. He let go of his submission a second time. Yeah, I mean, he could have just won the match right there, but I don't know, it seems to be something's on his mind. Or I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. As I was saying, Diz will defend in his first defense against the silent killer Chaos. With a guy like Chaos, this could be Diz's only defense. Yeah, you're definitely yeah. right about that. Chaos is no joke, one of the best in the business. We also still don't know about Diz, uh, Diz's, or whoever the champion is, his opponent at Golden Opportunity. Going for the death wish. He countered. Uh, uh, Pedro wasn't quick enough to go for anything else. Nope, now he's got him in an Irish whip reversal. Oh, hits the ladder. Oh. Rings belt Black backstabber. Oh, oh. My. There we go. Dos. Two. Punch drunk, I'd like to uh I'd like to address something here. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, for the Gold Opportunity show and Home uh, and Atlanta, by the way, we'd like to thank Skeeter Moxley for his fine work. Yeah, thank the you, Gold Skeeter. Gold Opportunity is called such because there will be a match at the Gold Opportunity called the Golden Gauntlet. What it is is six people are going to be invited into this match, and the winner is going to get a gold briefcase. Uh, I'm not quite sure how the rules work. I've been told all six men will start, and uh, oh. there will be a certain time limit to the match. And uh, if you get a pin or submission during the match, you get control of the briefcase. And uh, if you are pinned or made to submit, it passes on to that person. And whoever is the holder at the end of that will be uh, the briefcase holder. And we'll cash it in as such, like like the money in the bank briefcase yeah. for the HW belt at any time. It's definitely an, an oh! it's definitely an ir or well interesting match how it should turn out like oh that just uh, ended Dimitri uh, uh, he did not uh, like that uh, uh, but yeah definitely that match is definitely uh, new to HWA we're not, we're not sure yet who is in that match um, oh! vicious Death neck breaker neck breaker you saw the crank on the knee he knocked himself out of his own oh. shoe. That's it! That's oh, it, that's shoot. over. The, Dimitri with the pinfall victory. <laughs> there you go, the winner of the match. Thank you. I wonder if Dimitri is in the golden bottom. Wait a minute. That man's back out here. Uh-oh, here. here we go. Business is about ready to pick up. And look at this stare down. Dimitri walking away? No confrontation yet. Now here comes Madman. He's got a lot going on in his head right now. And now Madman going into the ring. Does he have more to say after what he's already said? All right. Pedro getting rolled out of the ring. Not bad in his debut, but he came up short. Oh, really got Jimmy butt. Jack. I beat the crap out of you today. I want my title shot tonight. He wants right his shot now. tonight? This is already fighting chaos, though. 
Oh, uh, here we go, Jimmy there Jack. Again. I'm out here a lot. This is exercise for you. Okay. See. You won. Okay. You have to have your bitch help you, but it's all right. It's all right. Fuck you. But you know, it's pretty simple. I kind of said you would get a chance. But I'll smart you here. Actually you, you see, that's not that's not possible. You can't outsmart no, me. No, you asked for a chance. <laughs> did ask for you a didn't chance ask for a match. title. You asked for a chance at the title. <laughs> I beat you. I get my title shot. No, you get a chance at a title shot. Come oh, up. Oh, pulled a fast in one. In two weeks, a match never before seen. Man, man, not HWA. happy about this. Will be the golden opportunity match. Golden Gauntlet. Well, looks like we found out our first Same thing. <laughs> you win if you defeat the other five people. So you're saying not only did I have to beat your fat ass, I have to beat five more. I'm, I could not be happy one. whatsoever. It's Madman. I mean, but hey, if you win that, you get this nice little gold briefcase. It costs us a fortune. 24K, folks. Stuff. I asked Phoenix about that, but I guess it doesn't matter. You know, Get to the point. But inside that is a contract that the winner can cash in at any time. So let me get this straight. I have to beat five of your losers, and I could have a chance at the title whenever I want. Yeah. This works a lot better for me. Thanks, bud. So apparently Madman is the first person announced for this match. I like him so much. <laughs> there you go, Jimmy Jack. Will we? The way we the show's been run, we'll, who knows if we'll see him again later. All right. We'll be back with the next match. This is HWA Wrestling. Punch Drunk Polly, punching out. Oh, shit.